And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Preston North End, and they face Sunderland. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. the rule over the Preston North End starting 11. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing-backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. And the starting 11 for Sunderland. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And the game begins. Story. Oh, nice ball over the top to Chase. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early. And that's a waste of a great opportunity. Moving it forward. Chance to put them in front. And the post denied him. Well, threat averted. Well, they've started the game really brightly, and that was so close to taking the lead. But it should boost their confidence but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Lindsay. Troy Parrott. Unable to keep the ball that time. Jack Clark. Gelhardt, simple catch really. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Please meet your wife at the ticket office. Now, who can he play it to? giving them a different option by moving in field. Well, he tried to place that one, and given his proximity to the goal, he's bound to be disappointed. Neil. Here's Patrick Roberts. And a chance for him on the flank. A 
and he'll take efforts like that all day long. Neil. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Bodies forward and the break looks on. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. It's a neat move and a very good challenge. Here's Diallo. Here's Patrick Roberts. This is looking threatening, but quick thinking defensively. And we will have just one additional minute. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. A foul, but advantage played. Nicely timed tackle. to get tighter here unable to trouble the defence with that cross Roberts here's Diallo there to take it away that's the kind of shielding play you expect from him Crossing opportunity. Just cutting off the supply. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Has eyes for goal. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And over it comes. And that's a straightforward stop. Well, those stats aren't great reading, are they? Neither side is playing with any fluency so far, and as a result, we've seen a pretty dull game. It has to get better. Perfect challenge. Story. Lindsay. Whiteman. Alan Brown with it.
must take the lead here. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. So a personnel change then. Gelhardt. Well, there to intercept. Hughes. Teammates available. He'll take this on. Well, the keeper kept it out with a minimum of fuss, but it wasn't a great effort. Danny Batt. Onayan. Joe Gelhardt. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Joe Gelhardt. Showing a lot of guile there. Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left and the margin just one. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Clark. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. He takes aim. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.